Bartending 101. Today we're going to be sharing with you some of our tips on how to get you bigger tips. We want you to make that money. We're here for you and your bank account. But before we begin, shout out to Suavecito for sponsoring this video. Suavecito has a variety of tequilas from the Blanco to the Extra Añejo. Look for Suavecito at your local bars, restaurants, and liquor stores, and if they don't have it, be sure to ask for it. For more info on the world's smoothest tequila, go to suavecitotequila.com, and while you're there, be sure to check out their merch, because they got some cute stuff. Cheers to you making all that money. Tip number one, remembering your guests' names and drinks. Every time somebody remembers my name when I'm at a bar, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. What I love to do is as soon as I see that guest, if I remember their name, I definitely use it. And then I'll be like, you're having a Corona, right? And that blows their mind. Sometimes I even just pour their drink because I already know what they're gonna drink. Once they become a regular, then I say, go ahead and do that. When you see them coming, make it for them, bring it to them right away, and they'll be so happy. Yep, yep. And they'll love you forever. They will love you forever. They, they'll think you guys are best friends. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I tip my best friends really fat. Chatting them up. Talk to them, ask them how their day's going. If they start a conversation, you know, just keep it going. You're their therapist. <laughs> be a friend, be a shoulder to cry on. Especially if a guest comes in by themselves, they're probably looking for some human interaction. Who doesn't love a good conversation? Please don't get mad at us for this one, but tip number three is to smile. Show them pearly whites, okay? This will honestly boost your tips. A hundred percent, I believe this. Mm-hmm, me too. And I'm not saying like be smiling like the entire time, but at least when you go and you greet your customers, put a smile on when you're talking to them, put a smile on. Nobody wants a bartender that greets them like this. How can I help you? What, what do you want to drink? People like to see a smile, a friendly face. I love to see a smile. You smile at me, I smile at you, we have a smiling connection, and then telepathically you leave me $20. Like, you don't even know it, but you're like, here's $20. <laughs> smiling is contagious. They're gonna feel your energy, you're gonna make them feel good, you're gonna make them feel like you guys are friends. Mm -hmm. They're gonna tip you. They're gonna tip you. Period. They have to tip you. <laughs> and if they don't tip you, then I Then they like, the Grinch. They depressed the sign. Something, something's <laughs> wrong with them, then you go to therapy. Tip number four, acknowledge your guest. If you see them, wink at them, make eye contact, do something, <laughs> do something. When you're super busy, I know it's hard to get to everybody at the same time, but just simply be like, hey, I see you, I got you next. I'll be right something. there. I'll even sometimes be like, this person's after, this person's after, and then I'll be right with you. They know you're coming, they know there's two people ahead. You know, they appreciate that, mm -hmm. you know? Two minutes is gonna feel like two hours when they're waiting. Picture you sitting at a bar and the bartender's ignoring you, and you're waiting. <laughs> and you're like, that's the worst feeling ever. It sucks. Yeah. You're thirsty. They'll be more patient when you acknowledge them. The next tip is to communicate with your guests. Let's say your customer ordered a draft beer. It's out. It's gonna be a minute because the bar back has to go to the back to change the keg. Just tell the customer, hey, we just ran out. Give me a few minutes. They're changing the keg really quick. Boom. Instead of them being like, can I see your manager? This is taking way too long for a beer. They're gonna be like, okay, she's, you know, she got me. Right. She didn't forget about me. You're gonna do something else in the meantime, and they're gonna be like, oh, this lady, this lady forgot about my beer. They're gonna be staring at you like, why are you taking care of that person? I was here first. It's because of Virginia and Kai. Right. Had, had they known that, they would never go that far. So work on your social skills, you know, communicate <laughs> with people. It's all about communication, baby. Relationships, yes. bar stationships, <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> Next tip. How do I say this without being mean? <laughs> be fast, be efficient. Don't look like you're dragging ass. <laughs> That's a very good way to put it. If you're not a fast bartender, it's gonna make you look kind of lazy and kind of clueless, to be honest. Your bar guests are gonna appreciate it when they see you moving around fast when it's busy. If you are not a fast person, I highly suggest working on that. The faster your guest has a cocktail in their hand, the happier they will be. Nobody likes to wait. And the heftier the tip. Mm -hmm. You get them drinks fast, 
They're gonna tip you good. Yeah. And not only that, the faster you are, the more likely you are to ring in more things on that tab. You know what I'm saying? Like if they're sitting there for an hour and you're quick and they're not waiting forever for one drink, maybe they're gonna get three rounds of drinks, an appetizer, an entree, you know, shots. That tab is gonna build faster. Therefore, your tip is naturally gonna go up. So be fast, okay? Don't waste anybody's time. Especially your coworkers' time, because I would be mad at you if you stop. I just be like, she's yeah. gotta go. Becky gotta go. Yes. Time is literally money, y'all. Mm -hmm. Be mm. fast. Preach, honey. Preach. Taste your drinks, know what you're serving. If you've never tasted your own mojito, how you know it's good? How? You might be making them trashitos. Yeah. Taste your drinks, that way you can perfect them so that they taste the best. If your mojito is the best mojito they've ever had in their entire life, guess what? The tip is gonna reflect it. Make sure you're making everything delicious so you have a happy customer. That's it. Yeah. To get a fat tip, you gotta look good. Be presentable. This should be common sense. Also, no offense. If you look good, you're more likely to get a better tip. This is science. So put a little bit of effort into yourself. Present yourself in a way that you know you look good, you're approachable, they wanna be around you. They're gonna tip you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't mean put on a face full of makeup or go get your nails done every two weeks. You don't have to do all of that. Yeah. But do your hair, put a little makeup on, or, you know, get the crusty out of your eyes when you wake up, at least brush your teeth. Please. Do the minimum. Like, <laughs> the bare minimum, guys. Put some deodorant on, god damn. <laughs> and if you're a guy, you know, just clean up your beard. You know, put a little, I don't know what you guys do to your hair. Not much, but get a haircut maybe. <laughs> like, you know what you look like when you look good? Do that. Yeah. That's it. Don't look like what you'd look like. When you roll out of bed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just put a little effort. That's all we're saying. If people are asking you if you're sick, that's not the look you're going for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't wear eyeliner once. I'm like, are you sick? Uh, no, I'm just not wearing any makeup. I set the bar too high, <laughs> God damn it! on my own self. People are very visual. Like you can be funny, you can have a great, great personality, but guess what, sometimes it is, it is dark, and there's loud music, nobody can hear you. I'm just looking at you. It's true. It's sad, but it's it might, true. It might be a little superficial, but if your tips go up, thank us, okay? Be funny. Just be funny. Like if you're not funny, go online and look up some jokes. Bianca does this. And I do this. I'm funny though. Like I'm just extra though. If you can make somebody laugh, they're gonna love you. They're gonna wanna be around you. Exactly. Once again, we're coming back to people wanting to be your friend. Exactly. And what do friends do for other friends? Make them laugh. Tip them. <laughs> And this goes to my customers too. I like I will be your biggest fan if you make me laugh. So that just goes to show. Like right. if you can make someone laugh, they're gonna love you. Yes. They're gonna love you. They're gonna tip you fat. And if they tell a joke, laugh, laugh at their joke. <laughs> Anything that your customer says that's funny to them is funny to you and your pocket. Just laugh. My favorite people are people who laugh at me. Like, who think I'm funny? Yeah! It feels good. I'm like, I've said this before where I'm like, I like her because she laughs at my doing. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Make them feel good. Laugh at your customer's jokes. Okay, so another tip, which is not really our go-to tip, because I'm a little clumsy. Yeah, I'm very clumsy. <laughs> but our next tip is bar flare. Do a little tricks, you know? I've seen people do like the thing with the napkin where they like twirl it out or whatever, or if you can flare the bottles. That'll definitely get you some good tip. Yeah, you're giving them a show. Yeah. At the end of the day, that is a show. People love to be entertained, and you are entertaining the F out of them. Mm -hmm. So they'll so, probably give you a nice little tip for that. And if you don't know how to flare, you can always dance, you know? Me and my fellow coworkers sometimes, we learn TikTok dances, and we do them behind the bar. Tricks in general, whether you're TikTok dancing or flaring bottles, people like to be entertained. The last tip is like and subscribe for more tips with your girls. I think that's the best out of all the tips that yeah. we gave you. Mm -hmm. 